Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you one of the most important and indispensable mods or modifications for your mind test game. So this is called War Edit and it will be the equivalent of being able to copy paste and to quickly build uh, almost any basic shape or structure in game. This will save you a lot of time, to, especially if you want to create a lot of things fast and uh, it's really indispensable in terms of war editing. So first you need to download the mode like all the other modes. This is the website that has it. Um, after you do that, click on clone or download and then select download zip file. This will download the main folder that you have to drag and drop into the mods directory in your mind test installation. After you do that, just remember to remove everything in the, t in the name of the folder except for Word Edit. Now I'm opening mind test and the next thing is to click on configure and make sure that you enable Word Edit. Now there is a caveat, when I try to run Word Edit, uh, I get a message error saying that the brush uh, soup folder here uh, is not working. So if that happens to you, well all you have to do is disable it by double clicking on it. Also this mod requires unified inventory, uh, so please get that mode too if you don't have it already. I explained how to do that in my previous video. When that is done I click save and click on play game. This will bring me into my virtual war and uh, everything should be set. So if I click on the eye, I get my Unify Inventory screen and to access the, the mod, you just click where it says or where you see this War Globe and that enters into the War Edit GUI and you have many options here. So the way you use this mod is by selecting or creating an area first and then based on that area you can create all the structures inside or even copy paste that area move it or even paste it between different words which is something really really good so for example let's say we want to create a pyramid so the first area first thing you have to do is select the area so i'm going to click on set region and you can select the region in different ways the, you can select the position one or two with different coordinate systems uh, or so the easiest one is just click position one here and you see that that uh, this placeholder will be added saying that wherever you're standing is position one. And then you need to select a, a position number two. And normally the regions are rectangular spaces or areas that you mark uh, in the three dimensional space. So remember, they have a width, a height, and also depth. So you have to remember that. So in this case, since we're creating a pyramid, we need just a center point. So both position one and two has to be in the same place. So I'm going to press on the eye again and click on position two here. And that puts position one and two in the same spot. So I'm going to go a, a little bit back off and to show you that if now I, I go back to the interface here and I click back and then click where it says pyramid. It, it asks, the next thing it asks me is what material I want to do it or use, in this case it's going to be cobblestone, but you can change it you know, to whatever you want. And then the second parameter is the length. So in this case, let's, let's make a very small one. So I'm going to put the length of 5, and then you have to select which axis you want this to be. Uh, and normally you want it, you know, standing flat, looking up, it would be the Y axis, but you have different options here if you want. So I'm gonna, and finally the next thing is if you want the pyramid to be hollow or solid and this is super super useful in, uh, when you are creating buildings or structures where you want to do stuff inside and so it's really an amazing option that it will take you a long time to, to, to create these this kind of structures by hand. So I'm gonna click on solid pyramid and you see that's it. The solid pyramid was created, the center point was that position one and two and it's solid so um, if you break it, it will be all blocks inside. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how you can copy paste uh, anything in War, and it's really an amazing tool for fast uh, War creation. So let's say that uh, I want to copy paste, and I'm just gonna put uh, a few blocks here. Let's say just to make this fast, but it, there is really no uh, set limit on how much you can copy paste. So 
All right, so this is enough. Let's say I want to copy paste this block uh, or set of blocks. So the first thing you have to do is define the area. So I'm going to go here to the eye. Well, before I go that, I'm going to move, position myself to the area I want to uh, copy paste. So I'm going to place myself here, okay, and then I'm going to click on the eye, and then I'm going to go where it says um, uh, set region and position one here. Now, the next thing is you want to set yourself on the opposite corner. But also remember that this is in three-dimensional space, so if I put myself here and I click position two here, you see that the area has been marked, but it's only one block high, or one block tall. So what you want to do is uh, use your fly mode or free mode and go up a little bit. And now when you position two here, you see that the uh, your entire structure will be a uh, encompassed so everything has to be engulfed in that area for you to copy paste it or move it so the next thing is uh, I'm gonna go back to the interface of uh, word edit and click where it says copy or move so this is the option and it's telling me well how many steps you want to copy it uh, how many steps away from the original area you want to do it so I'm gonna do 10 steps okay or 10 blocks away and then the direction that I'm looking at so look direction. So it's gonna copy or, or either copy or move it so to that area. So I'm gonna first click on copy, and you see that it's it's just copied that area five blocks from the original block. And if I wanted to move it, it would be the same, but just click on move. Well, that's uh, the basics of the mod, and you have different options here uh, to create other structures and also to manipulate those regions we have created and do things like remove nodes of a specific material or do things like save or load uh, areas that you have saved from other worlds, etc., etc. So it's there for you to explore. I highly recommend it. It's almost an indispensable tool for uh, creating anything more serious in mind test or something bigger and uh, it's an amazing mode well guys thank you for watching this video and if you enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe and support this channel thank you